Right, well here we are, doing the Christmas turkey. And I'm just going to boil up some sprouts and also add some parsnips in there and a few cuttings that have got in the way there. Nothing too much to worry about. Boil them up and then I'm going to just finish roasting them because I'm going to do a honey roast on the parsnips and the sprouts. I'm going to just grate some cheese over and we'll just put them under the grill and just brown the cheese through the sprouts to give them a taste. And in five minutes time the turkey will have finished its second hour of cooking. So if you want to come back in five minutes and we'll open the oven, see how the turkey's going. And we'll see. Okay, and then we've got the oven to ourselves and we can use it again, okay? So we are you ready? Explain. Okay. So we're just taking the uh, parsnips. A rather laboured fashion. Just boil them up and soften them up a bit. What I'm going to do then is just put them on a tray, put them back in the oven, put a bit of honey on, roast them up. And the Brussels sprouts are going to stay there for now. And these are already just drizzle some honey over them. And then we're going to pop them back in the oven. We're going to give them five minutes. And excuse me, let's just open the oven. Now in here, we've now got our turkey looking pretty good. Okay, opening the oven, and here we have on the top shelf pigs in blankets and the honey roast. Okay, going in, and below the turkey, which is almost done. Well, the roast is just starting to brown up nicely, so the turkey just got to have a, another 10 minutes. And I'll take the turkey out. And leave the pigs and blankets to roast for another 15 minutes. Along with the parsnips. Right, well, the Brussels sprouts are ready to go in. And uh, just a little bit of honey, sweeten them up a bit. And what I will do is grate them up with that cheese that I prepared. But meanwhile, we're still waiting for the oven to finish. Another five minutes. Okay. So. The turkey should now... <coughs> Done and it looks pretty good. Some mostly potatoes around there, all <coughs> looking good. Mm -hmm. Pigs in blankets need turning over, and the honey roasts need turning over as well. Mm -hmm. We have one. 
top back down. So. I'm just going to turn these over so I can crisp up the other side a little bit. And then we'll turn these over. Put them back in. In actual fact, I think I'm going to leave them just like that for now. Put more honey on them. There we go. And they're going back in. Why are coughing? Why are you coughing? You don't cough. Anyway, so we'll put the pigs on the bottom. And they're going to have just 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'll just cover the turkey with some simple so it actually keeps warm and still cooking through for a while and do you know what I'm going to change my mind I'm going to take some of the roasts out I'm going to put them in that dish and I'm going to crisp them up a bit more And if you like, come back to me in about ten minutes. We'll see how we see how we've done. Okay. Please. Right. So our pigs in blankets should be done by now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pigs in blankets are done. Let's just have a quick look at the roasters. Um, a little bit longer for them. Yeah, I'm going to give them. Them another 10 minutes, I think. I just want them just crisped up a bit. Okay, we'll come back to you in 10 minutes. Right, welcome back. We are now preparing the, the Brussels with a little bit of cheese grated over. Over everywhere. But actually, it does make them quite tasty. We pop them in the oven. Give it a final boost along with the uh, parsnips and the roast potatoes. These really don't take too long. Yep, there you go. I've got cheese everywhere. Okay, so. Just made room in here. Just slide these in on the side there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is actually put the grill on. Open, yep, that's all right. Okay, so we've got the grill. So I just want to grill the cheese up a little bit. And while that's happening, I'll show you what I've done with the peas. Ordinary frozen peas. And it's my secret, easy way of putting them in a, a cup microwavable. And then a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, and just some water. Because they should be frozen at the time. Just a little bit of water over. And then cover them like so. With a little bit of cling film a couple of minutes let them sit for about two minutes and then just pierce the micro the uh, film and put them back in for another two minutes and those peas are as good as you will ever need anywhere or ever get 
anywhere. Okay. Oh, welcome back. We're cheating with the Yorkshire puddings, as you can see, because they are already done. Ah, ah, ah. Aunt Bess's Yorkshire puddings, and they just go in the oven for about, um, what is it, I think it's about five minutes. Okay, if you could just step back. Just made a little bit of gravy up there, and uh, use the water from the... Um, Brussels sprouts and um, the potatoes. Now, let's have a look at our honey roasts. Mm. They look like they're roasted. Pretty good. Find a spot for them. And the potatoes. Yep, they look pretty good. Funny though, you never seem to have very many there when you're done. And there's our sprouts. Looking pretty good. And all I'm going to do is put the Yorkshire puts in. And we'll just give them five minutes. There we go. We are more or less ready. And incidentally, while we're eating, we've got the Christmas pud, which I'm going to stand in the hot water, and that will start warming up. In fact, it can go in a smaller pot, actually. Find another bowl for that, and it can be warming up while we're eating. So there we go. Mr. Turkey is in there. And, um, mm -hmm, looking pretty good. And we can start carving and hopefully eating. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Okay, there's our turkey with our Yorkshire puddings, our roast potatoes, and our um, uh, honey roast, and our parsnips, pigs, peas, sprouts, with melted butter, uh, with uh, melted um, cheese. And unfortunately, we've had to put a little bit of gravy in a cup because we don't have a gravy boat. There we go. And I made the gravy, incidentally, um, and just added some blackcurrant um, preserve into it. Give it a bit more of a flavour. There we go. That's it.